Uh, with us now, Bill Daly, former, uh, President Obama's former White House Chief of Staff. He also served as Commerce Secretary under President Clinton. Welcome. Thank you, Chairman. So what's your takeaway from what we just went through? Well, uh, it, it seems to be, to some degree, a big nothing after a traumatic three weeks and putting the country, putting the world through this uh, drama. Uh, and we come up with a six-week, basically a six-week solution. And so it's rather sad that it takes all of that energy to come up with very little. Should the president have been more involved? Uh, no, I think he played it exactly right. I think he said, here's the line, and you guys created this problem, and they did. Uh, the wing of the Republican Party uh, in the House, and they had no real strategy, mm -hmm. and they thought that they could, I guess, bamboozle him, uh, and it didn't work. And then they had no strategy. And But yet the country and the world, really, was put in a, in a state of uh, panic over the thought that the U.S. would uh, default. It was and it's, ridiculous. It does seem like the Republicans at this point are taking the biggest hit. Do you think they have support from anyone other than family members and close family friends? <laughs> no, no, they should Paid and they staffers? Shouldn't. No, and they shouldn't. So, Even I think the paid staffers and family and friends are probably turning around. <laughs> but, and what should but, they but, do, but, Bill, do you think, to turn it around? Can they turn it around? Well, I, I, they will turn it around. I mean, as far as the political piece of their popularity, but no one's uh, helped by this. Obviously, the president's hurt by it. Democrats will be hurt by it. Right now, everyone's, uh, if you're a Democrat, or uh, obviously most people are saying that the president won this. Mm -hmm. But when the nation loses, the leader of the nation gets hurt by that. And I, I know him well. And this is not, he's not taking any great joy in this mm -hmm. last three weeks at all. So I want to talk about the next, because we're going to have to deal with this in another right. three and four yeah. months. Did the president lance a boil by saying, I'm not going to negotiate? Or does this suggest, has, has the opposition forces been weakened at all? I mean, Paul Ryan, for instance. Right. Well, I, I, I saw where the, Paul Ryan, the chairman of the Budget Committee, mm -hmm. uh, voted against the deal. Uh, now, wh what's that message? He's a leader. Yeah. He's supposed to be somebody who And he's is the in... one with Patty Murray, the Democratic right. senator, right. Uh, who have to come together and come up with a budget. Look, at, I, I, I can't believe that the Republicans would allow another shutdown to happen or a default. Um, because then they will probably go into negative numbers, mm -hmm. and family and friends and, and their dogs will even turn on them. It's well, a, a little bit away, but do you think that this and what follows now will have an implication for the 2014 midterm elections, even though people before this were saying there was no way the Republicans would lose control of the House? I don't think there's any question that this has an enormous impact. Now, they have gerrymandered many of these districts. But remember, when, the, when this faction of the Republican Party won in 10, most of those seats were held, obviously, by Democrats. Mm -hmm. And so there were, there, there's there been a history in some of these mm -hmm. districts of Democratic uh, Congress speaking. The, the interesting thing to me is the point that Nora raised. What these negotiations that are now taking place have to do with taxes. They have to do with right. entitlement. They have to do with tax reform and all of that. And it will be a test of whether both sides who now will be able to do something to avoid this. And, and that, in some ways, plays better to the Republicans in that people do have a great concern about the debt. They do have a great concern about spending. So that's where they may have some movement in their way. And you think the president's prepared here. to give? I think the president's prepared, to, as he has been for a while, to do something serious about this long-term debt problem. Not short-term spending cuts that's going to hurt our country short-term, but try to deal with the long-term. I think he's always been willing to do that. Why did you say you think the president is so lucky to have the Tea Party? Every time he seems to get in trouble, they come to his rescue. In what way? Uh, well, look at the Syria situation. A lot of people were criticizing for the Syrian situation. Um, and, and I do believe, as I say, the American people do have a great concern about spending. And, 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 and yet these people pick Obamacare to have the fight over. It was and ridiculous. as the front page of the New York Times points out today, there have been so many glitches in the rollout of Obamacare, mm -hmm. including internal estimates right. about how many people would be signed up in the first couple of months. The White House is not releasing that data. But there's really not been a focus on that because there's been a focus on the budget right. fight. So they saved them from, from that, which would have been a very difficult couple of weeks since the rollout began. Senator Reid last, uh, last night said, this is not a time for finger pointing or, or finger uh, for blaming and pointing fingers. This is now a time for reconciliation. Do you really think that's possible w that we can move forward without the residue of bad feelings between the two sides? Because it seems like we get together, but I'm still mad at you. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a nice uh, belief. way of putting uh, it. But, yeah. but I, I think it's probably unrealistic, especially to the hardcore group of Republicans who picked this fight. Yeah. And remember, over half yep. the Republicans in the House voted against this meaning, seemingly yeah. small deal. Over 40 percent of the Republicans in the Senate voted, uh, and some of their so-called yeah. leaders voted against this You think this the deal. president will be able to get immigration reform? 
Uh, I think you'll know in the next uh, three months, uh, depending on this deal. If there's a real budget deal, then, then there should be a deal on immigration. The economy needs it. Bill, Bill, thank you. Bill Dilley, thanks. Bill, Always thank nice you, when you come by because you're such a shy person. <laughs> <laughs> we like to have you at the table. Chicago. Yes. <laughs> Chicago, Chicago it is.